greetings to this conference from CND and I want to give a really big thank you to the organisers for bringing this meeting together, particularly with such an important global reach and such a depth of analysis from the speakers. It, it's incredible what I've been hearing. As Jenny said, CND is active in the anti-war movement nationally and internationally. We played a central role in the campaign against the war in Iraq in 2003, then against the threat of war in Iran and all other US targets in the so-called war on terror. Now we've seen President Trump step up his dangerous policies. Over the past years and months, he's pulled out of key treaties which for years have controlled and reduced the threat from nuclear weapons and nuclear war. And this is already leading to a new nuclear arms race. We've also seen Trump's national security strategy orientate towards confrontation and conflict with Russia and China. And at the same time as he produced that strategy, he also published his new nuclear posture review, where he talked about a new generation of usable nuclear weapons. And these nuclear weapons, these new nuclear weapons have now been produced and deployed. So if you take these policies together of conflict with Russia and China and usable nuclear weapons, then you're looking at really a very dangerous situation. And you may remember that when Trump was campaigning to get into the White House, he asked, well, why can't we use nuclear weapons? We've got them. Um, and of course, we know it's because nuclear war will kill us all and threaten the very future, future of humanity. But I don't trust Trump to have understood that lesson. And I don't trust his finger on the nuclear button. CND opposes the Cold War on China. And we strongly believe that we must work now to prevent a hot war, a fighting war on China. This is the greatest threat to peace and justice in the world today. And I'm proud to say that we work alongside peace campaigns in the United States. It's really good to see our great friend Medea Benjamin here today and alongside all those across the world fighting against war. Together with our partners in Britain, the Stop the War Coalition in particular, we will be putting pressure on our government to change their policy, away from their craven support for Trump's war policies. And stopping the UK aircraft carrier going to the South China Sea will be a start. I'm very pleased to report that this morning at its meeting, CND National Council voted an emergency motion to work in the international peace movement to build worldwide opposition to war on China. That is our pledge. We are all united here to stop war on China and we will all work together to that goal. So thank you to everyone involved today. Let's do everything we can to build this movement, to build it internationally through all forms of organization. And I look forward to the next steps in this initiative together. Thank you very much.